Welcome to Caseback Watches, my name is Tim and in this video I'd like to show you a watch which caught me by surprise and this is the Laurier Neptune 3. To be honest, I picked it up on a forum without great expectations. I just saw it, the price was good, the condition was good. I always wanted to handle one of those watches. And so I just bought it with a plan to wear it a few days, maybe flip it, not sure. But now I'm wearing it for, yeah, two weeks now, two weeks on the wrist. And I found five good reasons to, yeah, to continue with that. And of course, I will show you the watch in the light box in a minute. But first, let's go over these five reasons. And reason number one is certainly the look because see that this blue here in combination with those wonderful big indices and the overall appearance this vintage vibe the watch has together with this with this nice bezel aluminium insert and so this took me definitely by surprise how good this watch looks. Reason two is the price. I think right now this watch here, this blue one is sold out, but I saw on their website the black one and the price was 499 US dollars. And I think this is a really fair price for such a product. If you buy it from Europe, I think you will end at let's say 500 euros. And I think this is a fair price for such a watch. Reason number three is the performance of the watch and the overall building quality here. I had to set the time one time and then never more. And I think the watch now gains, let's say, two or three seconds a day, which is wonderful. Then you have wonderful smooth bezel action. You don't have sharp edges and everything. And so the performance of the watch, if you take in consideration, especially that price point, is awesome. And reason number four is the size. 39 millimeters, I think, is for a lot of people a really sweet size. Not too big, not too small. I mean, we're in the genre, let's say, dress diver here. And so absolutely great reason to wear that watch this nice size. Not too high, not too thick, not too thin, just perfect in my eyes. And reason number five is the versatility. I mean, I've worn this on the, on the original metal bracelet. Looks okay, looks good, looks nice. Then I changed to one of my leather straps. Looks gorgeous in my eyes and changes a bit the genre of the entire watch. And now I can wear it in, yeah, let's say, in different social situations, environments, different yeah, weather outside, different climate. And so it's a great watch for a wide variety of occasions. And so these were my five reasons for this watch, my five pros. And now let's go in the light box and let's be merciless. Okay, let's begin. Let's begin with the box. Laurier watches come in this type of box here. Nice green box. Let's put that away. And here is now our watch, the Neptune 3. Laurier Neptune 3. On the bracelet, here you have a nice pouch for the watch with cards inside and documents. And here you have a strap. See this? It's not a NATO, it's a flexible, flexible strap. We will try this out as well. Okay, but now let's start with the watch. There you are. Let's zoom in. And as always, first let's go over the measurements here. We have a case diameter of 39 millimeters. The length overall is 47. And thickness I've measured 12 millimeters. Lug width is convenient, 20. Then we have an acrylic crystal here. We have an aluminum insert, 120 click bezel. Steel case, of course screw down crown and the watch is waterproof up to 200 meters so you really can go diving or swimming with that piece here. And the first thing I really enjoy here is the blue dial. The nice color together with this bold indices here. These, yeah, let's say Omega type hands here which fit in well in the entire composition here. And I like the logo. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful font. There is a beautiful symbol on it and so everything works so nice here. The overall legibility is a dream and this in combination with this nice look, with the sheer beauty of the watch. Um, yeah, this was really, really a discovery for me and I really love it, especially when the light changes a bit. It looks great under daylight, it looks great in the evening and so very nice thing. And the next thing I really enjoy is the case form. Because it's slender and interesting at the same time. Nice facets, nice curves, 
you may notice that here it's hey focus my goodness what was that that it's brushed and only those facets are high polished and so very 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 nice ensemble here and i really love that they opted for a plexi because it's not only the vintage vibe it also offers a certain clean look you cannot at least in my experience cannot achieve so easily with the sapphire and so i'm very happy that they opted here for this plexi here you see the case back <laughs> blank pretty bold decision they put nothing on it only this this small pattern here but that's it and now the bracelet the bracelet is the only weak spot i see here why weak spot at first glance you see a yeah good looking surface you brushed so it's tooly you see a well-dimensioned clasp often you find on let's say more affordable watches you find very brutal looking clasp but huge and not really delicate so uh, i'm very happy that they've chosen this clasp here and of course it works fine it has a micro adjustment there and so everything good but see this if you wear it and you will see this on my wrist in a minute when you wear it then those gaps open and this looks a bit uh, i don't know it doesn't match the the beauty of the watch head in my eyes those two components here and so i was not super happy with it but the overall construction is okay it's solid end links and yeah good working clasp as mentioned and so everything fine with it okay let's operate the watch now inside we find the miyota 90 s5 which is an automatic and you have a as mentioned screw down crown with quite some thread inside so you have to unscrew it some rounds here really and then you have only one position because obviously this is a no date watch and our seconds have stopped and now you just set the time so very easy and what i like here is um the performance really the performance because i've set the time here and then i had to correct it the first time after that after one week or so and so it was really really precise and that's what we all love right okay let's close it again and now let's put it on the wrist and there we are there you see it 39 millimeters on my 17 centimeter wrist so it's close to the maximum i can wear but thanks to the slender watch case it looks fine but now you see or you may see what i mean here with the bracelet that it, those gaps are open it doesn't yeah it doesn't match so well the overall beauty of the watch at least in my humble opinion here but overall i'm very happy and now you can see the look of the watch together with the with the matching shirt yeah absolutely happy with this really nice purchase here okay and now let's speak about versatility let's put that watch head on different straps and here you see it on that flexible strap i hope i did this the right way it's a little bit too long for me there you see the clasp and of course now we have a 100 percent summer beach watch i think this is meant to be worn over a diving suit is this possible because it's so so large or it is my small wrist i don't know and here you see the watch converted into a dress dive watch which is a strange construction but it looks awesome and this is one of my straps available at casebackwatches.com and this is the combo i wear in these days because it's rather cold here and i love the look and so indeed a very versatile watch okay welcome back and now allow me to add two little topics to that video this here i found on instagram posted by cormac hanley the 470 you may remember i've presented some of his watch dials custom made dials here on the channel and now i saw this on instagram Cormac was the guy who tried numerous times to buy my Oris Pointer date from the 90s, 7461 is the reference, and now he did it. With a little help from a viewer of the channel, Glenn, he found that watch in the UK, and then the seller was very reluctant to ship it abroad, but they convinced him. And now Cormac is in possession of such a nice watch, and I'm a bit annoyed that I'm not longer the only person with this watch. I mean, I never was the only person with this watch, but it's a rare piece, and yeah. But what we were doing here, unfortunately is that we um, let's say influence the price of that watch and you can't say now well he's trying to influence the price of his own watch yeah it might be true but I will never sell it so it makes no sense and then I'd like to show you something beautiful I found in the leather 
wholesale. What you see here is my first horse hide. This is not Cordovan. Cordovan is only the butt. This is high quality leather, but more for shoes and thicker things. What I bought here is the relatively thin hide with an amazing surface. I mean, look at those reflection and this depth in the material and I'm not sure what to do with it to be honest. I'm not sure if I make wallets from it or a bigger wallet for travel documents. Yeah, I'm not I'm not so sure. If you have an idea or a wish let me know in the comments please. Okay and that's all for this episode now. Cormac congratulations wear your watch in good health. Dear horse very sorry and uh, <clears throat> dear viewer thank you very much for your attention and until next time.